everyone, Holly Mecker here from Instructional Tech. I am excited to show you a way that you can use Canva to upgrade your Google Forms. I'm gonna take my Google Form from looking like this one here. It's got the, the basic purple color and then upgrading it so that it has a nice header to it and then a matching color scheme. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make that header. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over to Canva. Here I am at Canva. If you do not have a Canva account, make sure you sign up as an educator. They do offer pro resources for educators that um, if you are not in education, you'd have to purchase their pro level membership. Um, so make sure you sign up as an educator. Um, I'm here on my homepage. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna search for a template. I'm gonna look for a Google form header to create that image. And let's just see what they have to offer. All right, so here are the templates that came through, 1,754 templates just from searching for Google Form Header. So I know that I can find something that I can use and modify from these results. So as I scroll through, you can see there are so many different options, so many different looks. Um, so you can really find something that kind of fits who you are. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab one. Let me see, I'm trying to remake the one that I made earlier. There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one. You can tell it's one of the pro options, but I can use that because, again, I have an educator account. Um, I could star it so I could reuse this template again and I wouldn't have to search for it. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it by clicking on it. It should open in a new tab. All right, so everything in here is customizable. Um, I really like to match my colors so that the colors that are in my header match the colors that are in my um, already made Google form. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna split my screen so I can see both. I'm gonna drag this window over so it only takes up half my screen. And then I'm going to bring my Google form over so I can see those colors that I'm using. Because as you scroll down, you can see in my Google form, I have some colors there and I wanna be able to match that. So I'm going to make sure I'm using as much space as I can. There we go. Um, so everything, like I said, on here is customizable. I'm gonna go ahead and first change that background. So I'm gonna select the background and I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna grab the green that's around this problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that color by pushing the plus to add a new color. And I'm gonna use that eyedropper. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna make sure I grab the middle of the green. Instantly changed. So we've got the background changed. I'm gonna also pick maybe that orange color in the background. I'm gonna um, choose the color up in the corner and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna grab the eyedropper and grab the blue. Already looking better. Um, now I'm gonna change that image. So this is a placeholder image so you can drag any image right on top of where that image is and it will replace with your image. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna upload an image, you see I already have pictures here that I've uploaded, but just to show you how it works, I can push upload media, there it is. So, so you can see I have these images here, I could take one of these pictures and I can just click and drag, I'm holding my finger down, I'm dragging, notice it can pop into the background, I don't want it to look like that, it can pop into this circle right there, and now my picture is there. If I make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see, I can still adjust that picture. I can double tap, and now that that's the only thing highlighted, I can adjust and make it a little bit bigger. So it's just my picture like that. Perfect. And now I'm going to change some of the some of the words here. I'm going to double tap. Um, it'll highlight the the phrase that I want to replace. I typed in my phrase. It doesn't quite fit. Um, I'm gonna grab this bottom arrow here, and as I adjust the size, text, the text box size, it actually adjusts the font size. And so I can make it the exact size that will fit simply by adjusting that bottom arrow, which is kind of nice. And then maybe in this one, I wanna put in the title of the assignment. And there we go. Now I have a header that I can use on my Google form. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to share this and I'm going to share it by and I'm going to download. I'm gonna download it. I always use a PNG 
and I make it a little bit bigger just so it's better quality. Push download. It gives you a little celebration, says, oh, you're doing it right. And you can tell it works because now in my bottom bar, I have that download. Let's head back over to my Google Form. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this more full screen so we can focus just on the Google Form. All right, so um, now to edit this, I'm gonna go to my format. That's up here, this um, color palette. I'm gonna change my theme and I'm going to choose an image for my header. So I'm gonna choose that image. There's a whole bunch of different options you could choose if you wanted to pick one. Um, but I, of course, want to upload and I want to browse to find the one that I just created. And this is the one we just made. You can see it's um, formatted just fine. I'm going to push done. All right. So I have a header. It will automatically adjust your background to how to fit um, kind of the color palette that's in your header. You can always change it. Um, notice these are the colors that fit in with with my theme so I could grab that blue and see if that blue is close enough to this blue um, to make sure I like that um, you could always add another color notice it gives you a hex number here so as I hop back to Canva I can actually grab the hex number of this blue just to make sure that it's perfectly matching um, I select that circle and select the color and then over here if I the hex number pops up if I hover, but also if I go to um, add a new color, and this one's already selected, right here is that hex number. So I could just copy that over, head back to my Google form, and paste that hex number, and I can add that color. So um, it does look like it was pr pretty close to the exact same num um, color, but um, now it matches perfectly um, to this other blue that comes throughout my Google form. So it's just a way kind of to upgrade your Google Forms. You could make a header that is not specific to one assignment and is just specific to your class. So you could throw it into the top of each one of your Google Forms. I like to add a header to my Google Form just because it makes it a little more personal and it shows that you put a little more thought into your, your Google Form. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Let us know how you use Canva um, to upgrade your Google Forms. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you want updates on when we post more videos and have a great day.